think I'm going to be back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? I'm doing all right. Jared, how are you? Uh, I don't know. I must be doing okay. I was adding some extra syllables into the intro. I can't, you can't be too bad if you're adding extra syllables into the intro. Well, depends on what those syllables really are. That's a valid point. It's a valid Can't be point. like, um, 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 a, I, o, a, um, 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 yeah, a, no. Or really extending out a U in a uh, sort of word. Yeah. All right. It is week six. Week six. Of our sloop picks here, Jared. Yes, yes, yes. We are. And we got six games to pick from. If you want to hear the seventh game. Because we pick seven games. If you want to hear the seventh game, make sure to go listen to Know Your Enemy to hear our thoughts on Ohio State versus Maryland. Mm -hmm. All right, let's all right. not waste any more time and let's go into our first of our two nooner games. The why are they still why are they ranked game of 23rd ranked LSU and 21st ranked Missouri? Not only is Missouri ranked, but they're ranked 21st. It's at least four spots too high. I don't know. LSU shouldn't be ranked either. I well, mean, that's that's obvious. LSU is a six and a half point favorite in this game. It is at Missouri. Who do you got, Jared? Um, LSU so far this year has only covered against awful teams, while Mizzou mm -hmm. has uh, covered. Uh, three of their last three games, uh, which were all their tougher opponents. Their first two games were cupcakey. Uh, they didn't cover in those, but in their last three games against some real-ish opponents, yes, Kyle, none of them are actually all that good. I'm including Vanderbilt as a real opponent simply because they, you know, they're uh, in a Power Five conference. Point is, is that they're covering against these bad teams. Um, just, I just want everybody to just to take a deep breath and just take in what Jared just said there. I said tougher. It's Fender it's, belt uh -huh. and tougher together. Well, that says a lot about the first two teams, doesn't it? Do you have their schedule up? Tell, tell. Do you have their schedule up? Who's? Missouri's. Tell me. Yes, I do. Is this a factualist statement that their three more recent games are be against better teams than their first two games? Is this a factual statement? Yes, it is. Thank that's you. That's not saying much. No, it isn't. The first two teams were crap. But I'm still right. Who do you got, Jared? LSU only covers against terrible teams. Missouri's not a terrible team. Uh, therefore, give me Missouri. Yeah. I got the Tigers in this one of Missouri. Funny. Funny guy. <laughs> yeah. I got, I got Missouri to cover here. Zach, this I'm week, always right. And, and this... Mm -mm -mm. I'm about to take a screen cap here. Uh, <laughs> this week's picker is Gangland. Yep. Gangland. What does Gangland have to say here? Starts off with Mizzou covers. LSU is not good. They just don't know who they are to are who they are week to week, and their defense is straight trash. Mizzou has a decent offense and could put up 40 easy. Eh, maybe I don't know if that's have you seen LSU's secondary it's not it's not that good either but I I can't say Missouri's offense is decent based on who they've played so I'm sorry did were you not just making the exact opposite argument during know your enemy Missouri hasn't played anybody neither is Maryland We're not talking about Maryland here. We're talking about Missouri, Jared. I'm pointing out that you're inconsistent with your arguments. 
from episode to episode. We're not talking about Maryland. All right. Anyway, we're moving on to the other nooner. Uh, probably the the game to watch this week. Definitely. The uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Red River rivalry. Oklahoma, Texas. Nooner, ABC. And the Longhorns are a six and a half point favorite. I'll start off here, Jared, and we'll say that is not enough. Uh, I think Oklahoma is fake good. I I just I think Texas is a just overall good team. Finally, they actually have a defense that can back up what their offense has been doing. And I just, I just can't really trust this Oklahoma team to be able to score enough points and be able to stop Texas as well too. So I'm gonna, I'll, I'll pick Texas to cover, and I think cover easily. Uh, Texas is currently three and zero against the spread when playing Power Five teams, but Oklahoma is a perfect 5 and 0 oh against the spread so far this year. No. If you're betting real money, don't. However, I'm forced to make a pick. Um so, I dug in a little bit deeper. I took a look at Oklahoma's schedule. Oklahoma's best win by far this year is against 2 and 3 Cincinnati. Everyone just left. I I left a little bit of silence in there. Everyone, Mm -hmm. everyone take that in. Oklahoma's Kyle said that they're fake. Good. Um, I'm not going to say that they're fake. Good until after I see this Texas Oklahoma game, but I will say that they are unproven. I don't know what Oklahoma is. Um, but as I stated, their best win by far this year is against two and three Cincinnati. And if you're wondering, Jared, how bad could two and three Cincinnati be? Uh, Cincinnati lost to Miami. Well, I... As in the Red Hawks. <laughs> Give me Texas. But Jared, the Big right. 12. Hey, man, the Big 12 isn't terrible. As long as you're not All right. Looking... What? Let's see what Gangland it, says Texas here. Is there. Texas is there. I don't know what else to say to you. Gangland says Oklahoma covers. Uh, he says that defense is legit and Venables is back to his ways <clears throat> stealing signs. Uh, I think Texas could easily be on upset watch this weekend as this will be more of a challenge than it was playing at Alabama. So he's got the Sooners in this one. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Next up. Pair of three and 330 games here. First one is Washington State and UCLA. UCLA is a three and a half point favorite in this game. I want to emphasize that with a... 13th rank Washington State game uh, team yeah versus a 3 in 1 unranked UCLA team UCLA is a 3 and a half point favorite yeah um against FBS teams Washington State is 3 and 0 oh against the spread and UCLA is 1 and 2 uh, number 13, as Kyle pointed out, is a three and a half point dog versus an unranked UCLA team. Uh, this feels like a trap game and I feel like a sucker for Ooh. potentially falling for it. But, uh, give me the Cougars. I don't, by the way, we don't have a gangland pick for this one. And that's my fault. Um, would you like to hear his thoughts on a, uh, totally different game because I messed up the screenshot? Um, here's his thoughts on uh, the UNC Syracuse game. 
UNC covers and big time uh, Syracuse uh, is just not good and won't be able to compete on the same level that UNC offense is legit. Uh, those are gangland's thoughts on a game that we're not picking and it's uh it's my fault. <laughs> I've, I've got the Cougars in this one. Cougs. I've got the do, Cougars. Do, do, do it just to embarrass game day and Pat McAfee and all those stupid clowns. I mean, UC, UCLA, if I'm looking at UCLA, who has UCLA played? They played Coastal Carolina, uh-huh. San Diego State, uh-huh. and C Central, mm-hmm. and lost to a uh, pretty bad offensive team without rising, Utah, 14-7 to in their last game that they've played. Yeah. Washington State, it's not, it's not they good. played... They played Colorado State. Not good. They played Wisconsin. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, it's well, a lot better than Vanderbilt or Townsend. And last weekend, they beat uh, Oregon State, which was a good win. Currently, it's a good win. Yeah. We'll see. Okay. I got I got the Cougars in this one. Okay. All right, the they other walloped whiskey. After, That's just a good sentence, Woody. Woody said that the, they walloped uh, whiskey. That's a good sentence. Try try that sentence right, the, out, Kyle. It's it, it's it's fun coming off the tongue. Walloped whiskey. Woody said that he they walloped whiskey. All right, all right. The other afternoon game we are going to pick here is Alabama and Texas A and M. Uh, three thirty CBS. Bama is a two and a half point road favorite in this game. It's a near pick 'em, Zach. That is that is a very near pick 'em here. Who do you got, Jared? Against the spread. Uh Texas AM is currently four and one. Bama is currently three and two. So uh, it's pretty pretty close. Uh that being said, I said earlier this year that if you get a chance to pick Bama, uh at a spread at or minus six and a half points that I'm going to take that every damn time. If I get the opportunity to pick Bama less than a touchdown favorite, I'm going to take it. I'm sticking to that thought process. I'm sticking to that gun. Give me Alabama. Yeah. Same thing. It's pretty much a pick them here. Maybe, maybe Saban's got this team turned around here for a, Against more inferior teams ah, here. Uh, uh, that one, that one. <laughs> I like that one more. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got, I got Alabama to cover here. Gangland says here he has A and M covers. A and M has had Bama on the ropes the past two years, and they got bailed out at the buzzer both times. I actually, did not look at that. That was a failure on my part. I think this year it is the year AM finally climbs that mountain. It just happens to be the year Bama is also at their absolute worst in a while. I'm actually curious here. Um Texas AM. Looking Go to rivalries.net or whatever that site is that tells you all the past matchups between the two teams. Oh. Uh, Winsipedia. Winsipedia, that's what it is. That's what it is. Winsipedia. Last year, last year it was 24 to 20 Alabama. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They didn't play last year. I'm sorry. Oh no, they did. Yeah, no. Uh, they did. this was a little confusing. Okay. Yep, last year, 24 to 20 Alabama. 2021, Texas AM beat mm. Alabama. 41 to 38. But then all the other years, um, they've done pretty well until 2012 was the last time before 21 was the last time that Texas A&M beat Alabama. Interesting. So yeah, the last, that, last two uh, years have been, have been, have been within five points. Johnny Manziel. Each. 2012. But was it, was that really that long ago? 
Was it? I'm about to pull it up here, and it is. Yes, it is. That is the Manziel game. We're getting old, Kyle. That was that was 11 years ago, Kyle. 15th, 15th ranked A&M versus number one Alabama, 29 to 24. We're getting old. How, how was that 11 years ago? Oh, my God. I don't know. I mean, what what is Manziel doing today? <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know. We're picking the we're we're picking the next game here, and that is Kentucky I never and beat Georgia. Alabama. At least Manziel beat Alabama. What the hell am I doing with my life? Kentucky and Georgia is one of our two evening games here. Uh, Seven o'clock ESPN. Fourteen and a half points. Dogs are favored over the cats. Cats and dogs. And I, th- I think it's going to be closer. I think it's going to be closer. We've we've seen Georgia play with fire this year, and this is actually a halfway decent uh, Kentucky team, and they're actually running the ball very well. And Georgia uh, so not far this year, defending the run very well so far this year, but. But you could look at Kentucky's schedule like we've seem seem to look at for a lot of these teams. Ball State, East Kentucky, uh, Akron, Vanderbilt, and yes, I'm putting Florida as well. Florida is a bad defense team here. But but Georgia hasn't really played anybody either. UT Martin, Ball State, South Carolina, UAB, and Auburn that they that they barely beat. Yeah. By the way, did so? Just, I, just, just I, th- I think this. I think this is going to be. Clo- I think this is going to be a close game. I think this will be a close game. Okay. Um, yes, yes, it is. It is in Athens, so yeah, Georgia does get that advantage. But I, I, fourteen and a half points. That's they got to score more than two touchdowns. Yeah, I'll, I'll take Kentucky here. I, I, I like my I like my odds here. Uh, Kyle, in the exact opposite of Oklahoma. Uh, Georgia has not won versus the spread yet this year. Georgia has not covered once this year. They are 0 for 5 against the spread. Meanwhile, Kentucky has won every game versus the spread when playing in FBS school. So not take take their FCS opponent out of the equation. Georgia 0 and 5 against the spread. Kentucky four and O against the spread. Mm -hmm. It feels like, it feels like an easy take for me that, that, that feels like an easy take for me. Give me Kentucky. All right. And gangland in this game says he has Georgia covering says Georgia is going to beat this shit out of Kentucky, but it won't be until late third quarter, early fourth quarter. Beck needs to settle into games in, in order to take control and they don't use Bowers enough like they should. Georgia has trailed Would, by two scores twice already. That's a good stat, Woody. That is a great stat. All right, and our last game here, Jared, is Notre Dame and Louisville. This is a third straight game for Notre Dame, is it? Yeah, third straight Prime time game for Notre Dame, Ohio State, then Duke, and now Louisville. Third straight. Three straight. Third straight against a ranked team. Third straight against a ranked team. Yep. Yes. Louisville's 25th. They also should, yes. But they also shouldn't be ranked. And Maryland should be. Um, let's see here. <laughs> Notre Dame. <laughs> Notre Dame is Hear a me out, six- George Madison. Notre Dame is a six and a half point favorite in this game. Louisville has played Georgia Tech, Murray State, Indiana, Boston College, and NC State. Yikes. So so of those of those games, the uh Georgia Tech, Indiana, and NC State we're all one score games, five point victory, seven point victory and a three point victory 
last weekend. Didn't Georgia Tech just lose the Bowling Green? They did. They lost to them Falcons. Didn't Indiana sure did. be Indiana all year so far? I I I already picked apart Indiana in our Know Your Enemy uh, section of the show, uh, or the, not section of the show, the previous yeah. episode. You're, you're- uh, You're right. NC State should have beaten them. You're right. Only win. But, Indiana's only win so far this year. Excuse me. Their only FBS win is a two point victory over Akron. This this is the Louisville, and NC State's just terrible this year. Like they're 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 bad. Not as. Mm-hmm. Don't 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 get don't get all don't get all Raleigh Durham on me, Kyle. NC State's a bad football team this year. Yeah, no, no, I wasn't going to say they're a good team. They were n- they were not going to be a good team. They they lost they lost so much talent. They lost their quarterback. It's yeah, they're not a good team. Um. So yeah, I got Notre Dame to cover this one here. I I think Notre Dame finally gets a good. Um, Gets a good game plan, gets a good, well-rounded uh, game finally here where they get to score points. Their defense continues to play very well here. So, yeah, as long as the offense can start putting up points and not just score on the first drive and then sputter out from there, I think Notre Dame can cover this easily. I think so. Um, I, I do not like this Louisville team at all. Um Notre Dame is currently five and one against the spread. Um, their one loss against the spread uh, was when they beat Central Michigan by twenty four points instead of the thirty five points required. Uh, Louisville is currently two and three against the spread, but uh, their three losses and losses against the spread, just so we're clear. Um, or by less than five total points. Uh, yep. That being said, Louisville barely beat Georgia Tech, Indiana, and NC State, all of whom are terrible, terrible football teams. Give me Notre Dame. I mean, I really can't under sell how terrible Georgia Tech and Indiana are. Uh, we have a live Ask Sloopcast question. Over under players on the field at 10 and a half. <laughs> During the snap, uh, there should be about 22. So I'm going to go over. You didn't specify. I got, I got- I got an interesting one here, Jared. We're not we're not picking this game, but Friday, Friday game, eight p.m. on Fox Sports One, Nebraska and Illinois. Pass. That, I'm going to set the I'm going to set I'm going to set the bar at zero point five. Fox zero point five snaps taken at Illinois's Memorial Stadium this year. Or this game. Huh? As we're as we're speaking here, there is a fire going on at Memorial Stadium right now when they have a football game coming this Friday. Okay. That's I mean what it's like one of the concession stands or something, right? It's probably a grease fire. They said it's a a large emergency response here. I I don't know the details. It's just breaking out right now. Well, I'm going to take the over. I I, I think it's, I think it's, it'll, will be a functioning football stadium. Uh, Hopefully at least, hopefully everything's okay. It's an alarm. um, It's a four alarm level. That, that, That just means a lot of departments showed up. That doesn't mean that the fire is bad. Necessarily. That just means a lot of departments show up, I think. I actually don't know what I'm talking about. To be clear, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Kyle, did you read Gangland's response to Notre Dame versus Louisville yet? I did it. <laughs> uh, Gangland here says, Andy, 
Notre Dame's covering, coming off emotional win at Duke, but Louisville won't be able to match their physicality. I agree. They could have a hangover, but I don't think Louisville can do anything on offense against this Irish defense. I mean, yes, yes I could sign that. All right. Uh, do we have any uh, questions in the Ask Sloopcast mailbag? Or are there any other fires uh, currently happening that you'd like to alert us to? You know, anybody anybody in the chat have any questions? Any questions here? Um, I'm going to look at other other games going on. Uh, apparently the, other games going uh, According to a link from Zach, the, the fire has been extinguished. Well, that's that's good news. The fire. That's good news. Uh, well, I tell you what. Uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and let us know. I'm gonna read this article. Uh, All right. So other 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 interesting games. Me- University urges public to avoid the area, um, which is apparently 1402 South First Street. As crews remain working on scene, universities. Alumni alert system first informed campus of the fire around blah, yada, yada, yada. This is a developing story. Okay, that's it. That's literally the entire thing. The fire's out. Well, I was going to read other interesting games for this weekend. And um, yeah, I'm glad that you uh, read that. Listen, I, the, <laughs> I as, as, as uh, now that doesn't mean it could be football ready. Yeah, but I'm listen, I, I literally just learned about this live on the show, so I obviously know nothing. But if I were to venture a guess, it's probably like a a, a, a fire in one of the concession booths because the thing that makes the French fries or in the grease and then there was fire. Like it's probably what happened. Breaking Sloop News. Yeah, we're recording this on a Tuesday night. It won't be out to a Friday. Um, <laughs> real breaking news. Um, yeah, I, it's, it's, it's probably a grease fire. It's pro- probably some French fry grease and some fire. It's t- I, that If I'm, I'm taking a wild guess, I obviously don't know anything. That's probably, it's probably a kitchen fire. I blame Bert. He got hungry. <laughs> I was about to say I regretted reading that, and then I, but then I didn't. Uh, Pay your three bucks to get the latest. Yeah, they got the late break. The Discord folk, the Patreon folk. This is actually breaking news for them because they didn't have to wait till Friday to get this episode. They got it on a Tuesday night. That's what your three dollars get you. All right, Kyle. Um, I mean the UNC game. UNC Syracuse. Yeah. Any chaos potential there? No. <laughs> but what is the over under on that? It's eight and a half. Really? Well, not the over under. The line, the line's eight and a half. The line is eight and a half at that really? game. I think it really feels like feels like some easy UNC money. Um. Yeah. I don't really see any other any other games. Can Rutgers stay undefeated? No, 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 never mind. They, they lost. lost. The they lost. lost. That's the right. Mission. No, they can't stay undefeated. No, that 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 ship has sailed. <laughs> that that boat has sank. Oh, sorry. That's Minnesota. Uh, Bowling Green and Miami of Ohio. Ooh. The the team that beat Cincinnati versus the team that beat Georgia Tech. Mm-hmm. Maction. Uh, Gotta love it. Miami Miami is a 10-point favorite. Really? I'm thinking Miami Bowling. is four Miami is four and one and Bowling Green is two and three. Okay, but here's the thing. One of their two wins is against Georgia Tech. But not only that, but they played Michigan really tough, too. They did. They did. But they lost bad to Ohio, though. Yeah, but Ohio's pretty elite, though. Like, the Bobcats are 
Like mm-hmm. they're they're this year's Boise if we're being written. I'm, I'm I'm kidding, obviously, but they're this year's Boise if we're being real. Yeah. Uh, when when does when does when does the uh, action start? When they start playing on uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays? What? Tuesdays. And... Yeah. I, when, when does that? When does, not when does that happen? Not soon enough. And it needs to have started already. So next, apparently next week, uh, game, we do have some Tuesday games. Hell yeah. But it's not, but it's not an action though. Who is it? Is it, um, is it fun belt? I'll take some fun belt. Three games, Louisiana tech, middle fun Tennessee. Belt. Coastal Carolina and Appy state fun belt. Tuesday night fun belt. Hell yeah. Yeah. When is when is Maction? Oh my gosh, is it really this late? Maction starts week 10, oh. October 31st. Nah, that that's a that's a fail. This is why that this, is a this fail. is this is why whenever we talk about conference realignment, we never talk about anyone stealing Mac teams. Total mismanagement. <laughs> All right, Kyle. Uh, That's it. If, yeah. if we're down to talking about Fun Belt yes. and and Mac teams, it's time to end the episode. Um, yes. Duncan already gave you the best uh, advertisement for the Discord and the Patreon that that, that I could ever. And he also uh, added a hashtag worth it. Uh, I I I can't top that if I'm being honest. So. Um, he already gave that advertisement. I'll just let you know that it's patreon.thesloopcast.com and you get like a 12% discount if you pot, if you buy the entire year up front. So instead of being $3 a month, it's like 32.50 or something like that. Um I don't know. I've never subscribed to my own Patreon before. But it's something like that. Uh why not? E- even if you don't want to join the Discord, and even if you don't want to watch games with us live, and even if you don't want to watch us record these and give us real-time feedback, even if none of that interests you, if we entertain you and you enjoy what we do here and you just want to help us make more of this and put more production into it, you just want to be chill about it, I guess. Go to Patreon. Listen, the vibes are immaculate. I need you to be chill. Uh, please go to patreon.thesloopcast.com and give us $3 a month, please. Esquire will give you legal advice. He he sometimes does that in the Discord. Um, it's, advice. It's, it's non-legally binding legal advice. Unless you pay him. You have to pay him. He doesn't get any of the Patreon money. So he's not your lawyer unless you pay him. I've learned that that whole give me a dollar, okay, now I'm your lawyer thing is real. <laughs> That's my legal advice. Kyle, do you have anything yeah, in Kyle's corner? Well, so good news here. I should have swapped these up here. Uh, the I fire totally and t- champagne has been a sting has been extinguished. That's that's the good news. <laughs> yeah. Uh, according to according to Coach Day, number eighteen will not be limited this week. He is full go, ready to go for the Maryland game. Week uh, one, uh, rule one. Yes, rule one does apply here. Yeah. Worth every penny. Thank you. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Um, Yeah, that's it. Uh, Tonight's ending music brought to you by the Sidekicks. Uh, They are a lot of fun. They're a band out of Northeast Ohio. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone. Actually, before I do that, um, you can go to our, if you like the fact, if you like the Ohio music or you want to learn more about some Ohio music, uh, just go to our YouTube page and look at our playlist. Uh, we every time I put a a song at the end of one of these episodes, I add it to our Ohio music only playlist, which you can find uh, on our YouTube page, which is uh, Sloopcast or excuse me, YouTube dot the Sloopcast dot com, YouTube dot the Sloopcast dot com. Go to playlist and you'll find the all Ohio music uh, playlist 
on the YouTube page. So, with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, these are the sidekicks. Thank you.